most people, including most uh, aviation background astronauts, don't feel so good on the first day in space, and you don't feel so good on the first day back, because your body of going up there has to adapt to no gravity. And for me personally, it was really a problem with the inner ear. Uh, the docs, remember back in Biology 101, you have those olith organs with calcium beads on top, so if you close your eyes and lean over, they kind of flop over and transmit a signal to your brain that says that you're leaning over even though your eyes are closed. Well, when you first get into space, you, you turn your head like this and the horizon moves so you know your turn, but you don't get that signal. So there's a huge collision of, of, of uh, disagreement in your brain about did I move my head or not, which leads to some degree of vertigo and unpleasantness for the first day or so. But what's amazing is you can feel your body rewire itself for the new environment. And for most of us, it takes a day or two. What's interesting is it takes less time every time you fly. Your body remembers what it did last year or the year before and can rewire itself a lot faster. Same way coming home. The more experienced you are, the less problematic it is. And for my last, my fourth flights, I had no symptoms whatsoever. And that's fairly similar with what, how most people uh, learned that they dealt with it. 